everyone it's Christina and welcome back to my channel so today you guys I am going to be cleaning my edges and like the top part of my scalp if you're interested in seeing how I do it and what my process is then keep watching because I'm gonna get started with that right now I have had these um, twists in for about this week makes the end of this week will make a month that I've had these twists in today is Monday April 27th this weekend Saturday will make a month since I've had these in my head so you know it is getting flaky and a little dirty and all of that up there um, I would just wait until the weekend and just wash my hair when I take these out but because I did say I was going to get a video and show you guys how I clean my scalp and the top part of my hair then that's what I'm going to do so before we go in the bathroom because I have to be in the bathroom so I can be in the mirror to do this um, I just want to let you all know that all I worry about when I do this process, all I worry about is just the top part of my hair. I don't worry about the back because for some reason when I protective style, the back of my hair doesn't get a lot of product buildup and dirt and stuff on it like this front part of my hair. So that's the only part I'm going to be focusing on is the front. So I just want to let you know that in case you're wondering why isn't she doing her whole hair. That's the reason why. However, if you like my process and you want to do this during protective styling, you can do your whole head. It's optional. I just choose not to because most of the time the back is hanging so it's covering up my scalp. But I like to pull the front up as you can see. So I just want to get all of that clean. So that's all that I have to say. So now we're going to go into the bathroom and we're going to get started. So if you're still interested, let's go. Okay, you all, so now I have taken the um, top knot or bun out of my head. And right quick, I'm just showing you all how dirty my scalp is. Um, how you can see the product buildup. I'm scraping it off with my fingernails. The dirt, the flakes, it's just, ugh, it's just nasty. So I just wanted to show you all right quick and give you a close-up of what it was looking like before I go in with my cleaning. So now all I am doing right quick is just sectioning off the front part of my hair. I'm just doing this from ear to ear and it was easy for me to do because that's the way I parted it when I got ready to do my um, twist. When I was prepping my hair, I parted it from ear to ear. That way it would be easy for me to grab it. So that's all I'm doing right here. And then once I have it parted from ear to ear, all I am going to do is take the back section and I'm going to put it into a ponytail to keep it out of my way. Okay, so once I got that out of my way, then you can see all I am working with is the front. And then all I'm going to do with this is take it and move it to the side. That way I can get started on one side and just work my way to the other. So all I'm going to do is put it in a side ponytail and then I'm just going to pull out the rows as I go along just to keep the clean separate from the parts that I haven't done. So all I'm doing right here is pulling out my first part. So since that row only has one twist, then that's all I am going to work with. So I'm just showing you that I'm going to clean my scalp and clean under the bottom part of my hair. So I'm just going in with a little bit of warm water. I am not soaking my hair. Um, and then I'm just going to massage that in and then I'm going in with my Pantene Gold Series Moisture Boost Shampoo. I'm just going to put a tiny bit on my finger. And when I say tiny bit, I mean a tiny bit because I don't want this to suzz up as if it would if I was in the shower. So all I'm doing is taking that shampoo, rubbing it on my scalp and then just kind of putting it around the um, perimeter of the twist. And then all I'm going to do is take my finger and work that shampoo into my scalp and in around um, the twist just to break up that dirt and now that product buildup from me all in my scalp and stuff. And that's all I'm doing is just breaking that up, rubbing it in real good, massaging, making sure I get all of that dirt out. Once I got that worked in good, I'm going to get an old, clean, dry cloth. And then all I'm going to do is wet it with some warm water and dampen it. And then I'm just going to take it and I'm just going to wipe the shampoo out of my head going in a downward motion. And I'm just going to do this all around the twist and on my scalp just to get that shampoo out. And then my scalp will be clean and I'll show you right quick. 
and then all I am going to do after I get all the shampoo out is just repeat the process. So I'm going to section the hair, spray it with some water, massage it in, get a little bit of shampoo, work that shampoo in really good, getting all around the twists and in between the parts, making sure that I get all of that dirt and you know just clean my scalp real good and get it moisturized then i'm just going to wipe it out with the rag very gently and just kind of blot it and just make sure i get all that shampoo out and then that's it it's clean so i'm just going to do this process to the entire front section of my head and then i will pull my hair back in a ponytail and i will also show you all how i do my edges which is pretty much the same way, but you all will see in just a little bit, and then I will be back. Okay, you guys, so I am done. And as you can see, my scalp is clean. You know, it's not perfect. I'm not trying to get it perfect, but I just wanted to get it cleaner than what it was. You don't really see any more dirt, any more product buildup. It looks more moisturized. And yeah, so this is like what I do really quick to just refresh the front part of my hair when I am protective styling. So now I'm going to go in with my Mish uh, spray leave-in conditioner and as you know I, I always forget to unlock it but I'm just going to spray this in my hair and I did spray it in my eye by accident. <laughs> But all I'm going to do is spray this Misha leave-in conditioner all over my head. And then I am going to massage that in really good. Then after I get it massaged in, then I'm just going to go in with my oil mixture that I've been using lately. And I'm just going to massage that in really good as well. Just to make sure I lock in that moisture that I just put on my scalp and my hair. And that is it you guys I am all done my scalp is clean my hair is clean it's been moisturized I've sealed in that moisture and this is a very fast process it doesn't take me long at all um, so I really like to do this I usually do it within two weeks of protective styling then I'll do it and then of course after another week or two then I just go ahead and take everything out but um, I did do this before but i messed up and used the wrong product so that's the only reason why i am cleaning my scalp so late into protective stylings because i wanted to get this video out to you guys now once you get finished with putting your um you know moisture in and sealing that moisture in now from this point on you can go in and you can refresh your twist depending on how far you end to protect the styling you can refresh it you can lay them edges you know put some gel on it and slick it down but i chose not to like i said i'm getting ready to take this out i chose not to so all i'm just going to do is just put it back up into the same hairstyle that i had because I mean, it ain't no sense in trying to refresh it when I'm getting ready to take it out very soon. But you can refresh your twists, you know, retwist them, gel them down so it won't be so frizzy. Me, I didn't care about the frizz. That's why I'm just, like I said, going back in with my ponytail. But yeah, you guys, if this would have been like two weeks after protective styling, then I would have refreshed my twists, maybe retwisted the ones right there around the edges that were kind of frizzy because, you know, with it being old, it is frizzy, but... I'm not worried about it. <laughs> so, yep, that is all, you guys. That is my quick little process to how I keep the front part of my hair clean. Um, I do this. I usually keep my styles in for about three to four weeks. So, like, the second week into protective styling is usually when I will do this process. And once I do it, my scalp usually stays clean for another week or two. So I hope this video was helpful. Um, if it was, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Um, if you have your own process that you do whenever you protect the style to keep your scalp clean, then let me know down in the comment section below. Um, I would like to try something different, you know, if it's a lot 
faster than this but this is a pretty quick process um i like it i don't have any complaints but yeah that is all you guys i just took it and put it back into the same hairstyle and i am done so as i said if you liked it give it a thumbs up um if you're not subscribed to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button before you leave so you can become a part of the curry crew and you guys until my next upload you all enjoy the rest of your day and thank you so much for watching it means so much to me and i'll see you in my next video bye